Dear brothers and sisters, for those who attended James Sachi's New Testament course last year for Christian education, you may recall a very interesting tidbit about how it was likely that the disciples were not the bearded older adults that is often depicted in artistic images, but youths in their teens. This theory is based on the Jewish culture of the time where young men of 15 and above would be apprentices for their family businesses, helping their fathers out and learning the craft. Of all the disciples, it seemed on record that only Peter was married. In those days, a young man would be married at about 18 years of age, and Peter is often said to be the oldest or the leader of the pack. Jesus himself was not very old when he began his ministry. After all, Luke 3.23 says that Jesus was about 30 years old when he started preaching and healing. Yet when we look around today, it seems that we must often wait till we are older or more experienced before we step up as leaders or people to serve the Lord. The Bible reminds us in 1 Timothy 4.12 to let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. No matter your age, no matter how young you are, you are not too young to be a witness, an example for the Lord. You are not too young to live out godly speech, godly actions, godly love, godly faith and purity. So let no one belittle you for that. And most of all, do not let yourself, to my dear youth, belittle yourself for that. You are God's vessel, right here, right now. Imagine the disciples to be your age and being used so greatly in the kingdom of God. You are also in every way able to be his channel of blessing too. You Saturday is a special day where we remember that there is no best age to serve the Lord. Even for the older ones amongst us, yes, you can also serve the Lord in whatever capacity that he has gifted you. Let us indeed serve and love the Lord with all our hearts, our souls and our minds. Amen.